Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. Now then on today's video, we're going to be looking at this little speedboat. It's the HXJRC HJ813. Uh, I bet the marketing team were up all night thinking of that one. Um, it is a little brushed speedboat. Uh, it's on Bangor at the moment for 34 quid, which is about $40 approximately. Uh, it does have a brother, the 815. Uh, but for some obscure reason, it costs another tenner for exactly the same boat. Um, it does, but I suppose it comes down to personal preference, which one you like the look of. But I'd rather save myself a tenner, to be honest, if you're getting the same product. Anyway, uh, it's a little brushed speedboat. Uh, let's have a quick look at the box. Uh, it says a 2.4 gig standard. It's got some lights on it. It's got uh, capsize recovery, which is always good on a boat. So it's got high speed engine. Well, I'll soon see about that. Waterproof servo controller. Well, again, you'd like to think it was waterproof. Uh, fully proportional. And I think on the top here, I did see something power on after contact with water. So it might have like an immersion switch on it, which is good. But anyway, uh, let's crack the box open because I'm getting into these little boats. Let's crack the box open and see what we get. Right then, in the box we get a little USB battery charger. Uh, we've got what looks like a spare prop, uh, prop spanner and a spare nut. We get our instructions. Uh, I think there's a parts manual in the back here as well somewhere. Uh, yes, there is. Uh, we get a stand, which are invaluable. These things are great. Uh, we get our transmitter. And uh, first impressions are, do you know what? These little cheap transmitters, some of them are absolute garbage, but others feel really nice. And this is one of the ones that feels actually decent quality. Uh, it looks like we've got steering trim, and a throttle dual rate on the side as well as on off and a channel three that might be for the lights and i think this thing takes four aa batteries which you have to supply uh, last but not least and it, well, i tell you what before we do that i'm going to make the stand up right last but not least we've got the actual boat itself and immediately i'm impressed with this thing it's a cheap boat that not only comes with a stand it also comes with a little uh, nose protector at the front and if you're a novice to boats these things are invaluable uh, i mean i've had the uh, metallic green uh, obviously i mean if you can, i don't know if you can tell there but that green is absolutely fantastic with the white hull um at the back we've got our rudder we've got our prop uh it's offset which hopefully will make this thing a little bit more maneuverable because uh, it you just get i think you just uh, end up because it takes the rudder out of the prop wash uh, we get a little bit more authority with the rudder so it tends to make them a bit more maneuverable and we've also got these little, I think they, they turn fins or something. Again, that helps with the manoeuvrability. We've also got a little drain bung at the back. And hopefully we won't be needing that. But that's always a nice touch. Anyway, uh, let's get this thing, uh, let's get the lid off this thing and have a look underneath. Right then, we've removed the twin covers and we can have a look underneath. Uh, we've got a little micro steering servo at the back uh, that activates the rudder. Uh, we've got a little lithium ion battery, 1100 milliamp hours, but I'm a bit disappointed to see uh, that it's got a four pin JST connector in simply because I've got no other batteries uh, with that connector on, so we're going to have to make do with this little battery. Um, we've got what looks like a 360 or 370 brushed motor so it's not a massive motor in this thing it is water cooled it takes uh, water i think from the bottom of the boat all the way around the motor and spits it out the side so normally they're pretty good they actually keep keep everything nice and cool esc isn't water cooled but i don't suppose with a motor of this size you necessarily need it anyway let's charge the battery up and uh, see what happens Do me a favour, just bring it back to shore, I mean. Yeah. Because I think it's. I, I just want to check the self writing function on it. Which I can't remember which button it is, but I suppose we'll soon find out. Mind you, pretty much wants that to sell. The yeah, it's the same as my big yellow one. Yeah. It doesn't need the power. Yeah, it the seems to sell. The bubble. Yeah. The self writing self writes. <laughs> I, 
Right, before we go any further, we just uh, thought we'd check the uh, water level inside, if any. I mean, let's unlock him. There we go. Oh, there's nothing to talk, dry as a bone, Absolutely that is. Absolutely dry as a bone, fantastic. That's cool. what you want. Yeah, excellent. Right, we'll continue. Right, just whipped the lid off and we're running it around the lake and motor's reasonably cool. It's not like super hot, but the uh, cooling system is doing its job. Right, so uh, the only boat I've got that's anything like this little uh, HJXRC is this WL Toy. So we're going to do a bit of a drag race. Uh, I think we'll go sort of to the, the lily pad, giant lily pad and back and see who wins. Right, ready? Yeah, steady, go. <laughs> I think my reaction time is a bit bit uh... I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be honest, yes the WL Toys won, but I think the battery I put in that, that the little uh, HJXRC, I don't think it's, I don't think it's fully charged, you know. Right, I put the uh, the slightly used battery back in it because, I don't, like I said, I don't think that one was properly uh, charged up. So we're going to try again. Um, <laughs> the WL Toys has, has got a fully charged battery in it. That's the only problem. So it's not not a mega fair test, really. Let's try again, anyway. Ready? Yep. Steady. Go. <laughs> Having a <laughs> I think that's pretty close, actually. Yeah, that's close as I thought it'd be. Yeah, I was expecting it. It seems slower off the mark, but it seems to have good mid range. Yeah. Do it again. Ready? Yeah. Steady. Go. <laughs> <laughs> we need a boy to run around here. Yeah. He went a little bit further out, didn't he? I thought they were quite close. I would, I would say the. the the HJ, I'm sure it's HJ XRC. That battery's fully charged. I think it would give the WL2 a little bit more. Yeah, because yeah, they've both got the same motor in them. They've both got like a 370 and motor in them. A similar size. Yeah. Whee! That's what that rubber nose nose protectors for. Our little uh, low battery warning alarm, so that works a treat. Uh, the, the lights are flashing on the boat, and this the. the uh, mm -hmm. The transmitter is beeping at us furiously, so that works a treat. Right then, back inside, what do we think of our little HXJRC813 speedboat? Uh, well, that's just some pros and cons. We're not going to break with tradition. Uh, we'll go with the cons first. And I'm going to be honest with you, I can't really think of anything I don't like about this little boat. The only thing I could, could think of and come up with, and it's only a, a niggle really, is the fact that I don't like this particular size of battery. I mean... It's an odd size. Uh, I don't like the four pin JST connector because I haven't got many batteries with that or any batteries really of that with that connector on that will also fit in a strange uh, size battery holder. So at the moment, I'm pretty much stuck to running this little 1100 milliamp hour unit. But to be honest, I mean, that's, that's all I can think of for the things I, I don't actually like about it. Right then, let's have some good points. Where do we start? Uh, battery life. Even though I don't like the size of the battery, it does give a good 15 to 20 minutes run time. The next thing I've got written down in my list is the handling. Uh, it's a nice neutral handling little boat. Uh, it does handle a lot better than the WL Toys that I tested with it with regards to the speed. Uh, I mean, I think these little turn fins help. Uh, at the back there um, it's just a nice neutral little boat it's got a good turning circle uh, just really pleasant to pilot around the other thing I like about this version is the fact that it's almost impossible well, it is impossible to capsize because of the, the way this uh, sort of canopy goes over the top it just forms a great big bubble of air in there and you, you, it just will not capsize another couple of things I liked about this was the fact that it comes with a little rubber nose protector and and a, a stand and for a budget boat to come with both of these things it's definitely a winner also I did quite like the transmitter even though it's a budget boat it does feel as though you get a reasonable handset for your money and last but not least I really like the price of this thing 34 quid which is approximately 40 dollars it's a cheap boat uh, do you know what it's not bad at all Right then, conclusion time. Would I recommend the little 813 speedboat to you guys? And I'm going to say absolutely yes. It's a no-brainer, this is. I mean, apart from the size of the battery, I mean, it's got reasonable run time, handles well, reasonable turn of speed. 
the price is right what's not to like if you if you're starting out with boats you could do a lot lot worse than to buy one of these I am really impressed with it and it was genuinely good fun to use. As ever, there will be a link in the description to where you can go and get one of these from. Uh, if you found the video of some use and interest, please give it a big, big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. It makes a huge difference to the channel. It really, really does. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Thank you.